Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for the last update of my uh, project polish. So I have my swatch reel right here and I'm going to jump into the first shade. And the first shade that I have is this one right here which is from Berry M and this is one of their nail paints in the shade Peach Melba. So this shade I have been working on for quite a few months. I've had it in for... Actually I think I've only had this in for two months or maybe three. But at least it is the shade that's been in here for the longest and um, I'm going to show you where I am with this product. So as you can see, that is where I was last update and this is where I am today. My goal was to use up half of what I had left, which I kind of think that I did. I'm slightly under that, I believe, but at the end of the product, it usually goes quite fast as well because it gets gloopy and there's also the balls at the bottom and stuff like that. So I think I would say that I reached my goal, um, which I'm really proud of. And um, this is one product that I'm hoping to have out of my collection by next update or by the finale. Um, I do quite like this one. I like kind of switching off the darker shades that I have in this project with this one, which has been quite nice. Um, I actually wore this before I changed my polish, but I remember that I painted my nails this morning. Uh, so I was about to say that I'm wearing this, but I'm not anymore. I've been liking to pair this with another shade that I'm going to show you later. But yeah, that is where I am with this one, and I'm hoping to have this out of my collection by the finale. And we have that on the swatch wheel right there. So next to that we have the shade that's also been in for two months, I believe. Yeah, this went in for three updates, but this one's been in for four, uh, two updates. So this one is from OPI and it's called The One That Got Away. Uh, I'm going to show you where I was last time and where I am now. So as you can see, that is where I am now. I would say that I've done quite well. My goal was to kind of reach double the amount of progress than I had for last update, which I don't believe I did. Um, I think the progress is slightly more, but not that much more. But these bottles are massive, so I'm not surprised that I'm not getting much more progress. But I have been using this quite a few times. And I actually got quite a few compliments on this one as well, which makes me want to not kind of panic anymore. Obviously, I'm going to kind of continue working on this for the finale, but I think I may actually pull this out at the end of the year. And hopefully I will have a little bit left at least. Oh, I know I will because I won't use the rest of this for until the finale but anyway i've been loving using this and and i didn't really like this at all before but um i do love it now which is really good and i think that's what's great about product polishes sometimes you kind of play around with shades you wouldn't normally and that is this one um i'm not hoping to have this finished at all but i'm hoping to kind of keep up the same momentum and use the uh, use this about the same amount so that is that one on the swatch wheel and next to that we have this one right here, which is one polish um, from Revlon, and this is in the shade Scandalous. So with this one, I've been really, 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 really bad. I have not worn this once. Um, I know that's not very like me, but I just didn't really feel this at all. That is the progress line. Um, it's just a very kind of Halloween-y dark kind of shade, and I'm past that now since we're getting more into Christmas time. So I just haven't wanted to reach for this at all. I did get quite a decent progress in the last um, kind of yeah last update, but I haven't used this, so there's no update now. And I'm not sure how much more I will use this. Maybe I'll try to reach for it once or twice. But if I'm honest, this is not a color that I'm feeling anymore, and. I think I will have to put this in again next year and um, hopefully earlier so I can use it more than just one month. Uh, but yeah, that is this one quite quick because there's not really any progress at all. So next to that we have the color that I'm currently wearing which is from Essie and the shade is called Merino Cool. So this is one that I put in in the project last update and I have been using this a little bit actually. I definitely thought that I would be able to get more progress out of this one that I have but um, it's just a really opaque shade. I had have, have two layers on today and I could even probably get away with one But I usually do, always do two so this isn't going very fast But I don't mind that because I do actually quite like this shade So I'm going to show you my progress now so you can see my progress lines right there That is where I was when I started and this is where I am now So a little bit of progress nowhere near getting done though uh, This will definitely stay in for a long time this is one that I may roll into next year. I'm not sure yet. I think I will have to see how I feel at the finale of this project. But I do like it. I have been wearing quite a lot. It's quite a unique shade. And I do actually quite like this one. But it's getting quite old in my collection. Which is why I wanted to pad it in the first way. But I'm going to try to make as much progress out of this one until the finale as I can. But I know I won't be able to finish this. Then we have one last 
polish right here which is a kind of sheerer formula um, and this one is one that I put in last update as well and it's from Depend which is a Swedish brand I believe and this one is in the shade number can't see anymore because it is rubbed off I believe but it's just a kind of sheer pinky reflect and it was completely new when I started last update and this is where I am now so my goal with this was to use half of it which you can see I didn't do um, but this is a very very liquidy formula so I think I've been using this at least like four or five times and since it's such a small bottle I believe that I would kind of get more progress but I mean since it is liquidy it it goes very thinly on so you don't really go through much of it when you do use it but I'm really happy that I managed to get this much progress um, as you can see and hopefully I will be able to get some good use out of this one until the finale as well. Those were the polishes from this update, no new polishes to roll in, which I'm kind of glad about because I have enough to work with until the end of the uh, year. But let's move on to goals. I think definitely my goal will be to finish this one up and maybe even finish this one up. Um, I, do use to, I, use pair, I pair these quite a lot together, which is what I mentioned when I mentioned this one. So hopefully I will be able to use these quite a lot together. Um, I'm not really sure if I will be able to get this one out, but I'm really, really going to push myself to do that. Um, and then out of that, I just want to get some more use out of the rest of the um, polishes. These two, I hopefully will use enough to get more progress lines. But this one, I'm kind of just putting on the back burner for now. So that will be my goals for the finale of this. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. And otherwise, I hope you're having an amazing day. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.